It might only be September, but it's time to start gearing up for the woes of winter. The city's energy efficiency program can help qualified homeowners get prepared. Single family owner occupied homes in Iowa City can apply for an efficiency improvement loan for up to $6,000. Eligible projects include the replacement or upgrade of less efficient heating and furnace systems, Energy Star compliant windows, and new insulation to reduce heating costs during the frigid winter months. There's been a lot of issues with older equipment failing, uh, usually failing at the worst possible times in the coldest of weeks and the worst of the months. It's a good idea to get that sort of thing taken care of before it becomes an emergency. In order to qualify, the owner must have adequate equity in the home and gross household income must fall below 80% of the median income level for Iowa City. For more information and to apply, visit icgov.org slash energy efficiency program. The second annual Climate Fest will kick off this week. The six day event will feature virtual and outdoor events. There are exciting opportunities for all ages. You can meet a peregrine falcon and enjoy a free screening of the falconer. You can help paint Iowa City's newest mural or attend the city's first all-electric tailgate, just to name a few. You can find the full schedule at icgov.org slash climatefest. We do ask that those attending in-person events wear a mask and practice social distancing. The city's Office of Equity and Human Rights is celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Freedom Rides of 1961 with a special event. On Wednesday evening, there will be a film screening and discussion with freedom writer and civil rights activist Joan Trumpauer Mulholland and her son, filmmaker Loki Mulholland. This event will be from 6 to 8 at the Engler Theater, but people can also tune in via Zoom. The movie, An Ordinary Hero, tells the story of Mulholland's activism, which includes sit-ins, demonstrations, marches, and her role as a freedom writer. After the movie, there will be a Q&A portion, followed by a meet and greet. Seating is limited and you must order tickets in advance. If you'd rather watch from home, the event will be live streamed on Zoom. Both options are free, but you must register in advance. Visit icgov.org slash freedomrider to sign up. That's all for this episode. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time on Iowa City Update.